Welcome to the sixth and final section in this course on Sweltkit for beginners. In this section, we are going to focus on a few miscellaneous topics. In this particular video, we are going to learn about snapshots in Sweltkit. To understand the concept of snapshots, I have already set up some code behind the scenes. Let me walk you through what I have done. In the routes folder, I have created a new folder called contact. Within the contact folder, I have created a plus page.swelt file. For the HTML, I have added a heading that says contact form and a simple form with three fields to gather user's name, email, and a message. We have three variables in the script block to which we bind the form field values. I've also added a send button and a link called cancel, which takes you back to the home page. If we head to the browser and navigate to slash contact, we should see the form as expected. Now let's understand a UX problem that users typically face when working with forms. You fill in the details, but for some reason, you end up clicking on the cancel link or the mouse back button, or even misclicking a link on the page. Whatever might be the situation, if you navigate away from the page and return to it, the form state is discarded. This, of course, might be okay in simple forms, but with large forms with tens of fields, it might be valuable to preserve the form state. You can take a snapshot of the DOM state and restore it if the user navigates back. So let's see how to implement snapshots in Sweltkit. Step 1. Make sure you're on Sweltkit version 1.5 or above. Step 2, we need to export an object called snapshot. Within this object, we specify two methods. One called capture, where we save the form state. So return name, email, and message. And another method called restore, where we restore the form state into the appropriate variables. So name is equal to, the function gets access to data, which is pretty much the object we return from capture. And we assign data.name to name, email, and message. It is as simple as that. Let's head back to the browser and test it out. Fill in the details. Accidentally navigate away and go back to the form. The form state is preserved. As a user, they would be thrilled to see this feature as losing form state is a very frustrating experience, especially in lengthy forms. So that is about snapshots in Sweltkit. In the next video, let's take a look at environment variables. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.